a little spacecraft that could, Voyager 2, is heading for its closest encounter yet with the planet Neptune. It's now billions of miles from Earth. Neptune is the eighth wonder of our solar system. No other celestial body comes close to this planet when it comes to magnificence and startling features. However, Neptune's once happy storyline has taken a nosedive. There is something amiss going on in the ice giant. Some astronomers had warned long back. Initially, scientists couldn't pinpoint what was wrong because we were more fascinated with the potential of life on the planet. The trouble had grown out of hand when we discovered the rot, and now scientists are having a hard time fixing this problem, especially with the distance of the planet from Earth. What shocking discovery about Neptune has scientists all worried? Could this problem be associated with a rumored ocean world underneath Neptune? Or is the problem associated with Triton, Neptune's largest moon? Join us as we look into how something terrible is happening to Neptune in 2024, and no one knows why. Scientists have always been fascinated with Neptune and have tried their best to sail through the daunting waves of mystery surrounding the planet to learn new facts. For decades now, we have been studying this remarkable planet, and almost every other day we stumble upon a scintillating revelation that proves there are still many hidden things waiting to be discovered in Neptune. It was the pursuit of these hidden wonders that led astronomers to the gates of a shocking new discovery. Something wrong is happening to Neptune. Scratch that. Something terrible is happening to the glittering icy planet, and scientists have been unable to get the image of the sad occurrence out of their heads. However, we can't talk about this arising problem without first giving Neptune its flowers for being an amazing planet. If all the planets in the solar system were to converge for a family meeting, Neptune's presence would be the most intimidating. Even without saying a word, the planet has that effect on other neighboring planets and astronomers who constantly observe it. Holding the unshakable position of the eighth planet in the solar system, Neptune belongs to the family of giant planets. However, the planet was not satisfied with this grouping and decided to niche down to another subfamily known as ice giants. Neptune is an ice giant, and it shares this honor with its near-twin Uranus. In diameter, it is the fourth largest in the solar system. Another distinguishing feature is that it is the third most massive planet and the densest giant planet in our universe. When placed side by side, Neptune edges out Uranus by being slightly more massive. If the Earth were to enter the competition, we would see that Neptune is 17 times the size of Earth. Although the average person would be shocked by this information, researchers have different thoughts running through their minds. Many scientists have talked about the possibility of living on Neptune. The planet's large size means there is enough space for it to serve as an Earth colony if we ever confirm that it can support human life. While we meditate on this thought, we should mention that the planet's equatorial radius is 24,764 kilometers, nearly four times what is obtainable on Earth. Once again, Neptune proves that it's superior to our planet. Neptune continues on its winning streak by having a surface gravity of 1.14 times Earth's surface gravity. The only planet superior to it in this category is the famous Jupiter. Many scientists have confessed that exploring Neptune comes with a different kind of feeling. It is almost as if they are walking through El Dorado. This feeling is heightened by the fact that Neptune welcomes them into a new world that is so different from what we have on Earth. Moreover, it is impossible to have a glimpse of Neptune with the naked eye. In the early years of the planet's discovery, we had to make do with our imaginations and whatever results mathematical predictions gave us. However, over the years, we have been able to peel little by little the layers of mystery enveloping this planet. This journey started on September 23, 1846, when Johann Gall first observed the giant planet using a telescope, signaling the beginning of a series of observations. The turning point in our understanding of Neptune came in August 1989 when the Voyager 2 spacecraft flew by the planet. The space probe gave us a better picture of this remarkable planet and birthed new possibilities we never knew existed. We have been able to nitpick on some of these possibilities thanks to the arrival of advanced space equipment like the Hubble Space Telescope, HST, and the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. Although they are several kilometers away from Earth, the HST and JWST have constantly sent back gifts in the form of data obtained from different space observations over the years. Neptune has regularly featured in these data. 
When scientists looked at these images, they discovered something exciting about the internal structure of Neptune. They couldn't hold down their excitement at the realization that Neptune's internal structure is quite similar to Uranus. This means they have been right all along for calling Neptune Uranus's twin. A second look at the observed data showed scientists that Neptune's atmosphere accounts for 5 to 10% of its mass and that the core of the planet is composed of iron, nickel, and silica. This particular finding left scientists bewildered because we cannot live in such weather conditions. It is a very dangerous environment for human life, especially considering the fact that the prevailing winds of speed variations ranging from 20 meters per second in the easterly direction to 325 meters per second in the westward direction. If by a miracle we find a solution to this natural phenomenon so we can live on Neptune, we can't ignore the fact that most of the winds on the planet move in a direction opposite the planet's rotation. Scientists were still dazed by this finding when another discovery was dropped on their laps. Space observations have revealed that there is an insane amount of methane, ethane, and acetylene at Neptune's equator. This is 10 to 100 times greater than at the poles. Furthermore, Neptune is plagued by seasonal changes that have caused the cloud bands in the southern hemisphere to increase in size. Furthermore, researchers have admitted that there is a direct relation between the long orbital period of Neptune and why seasons often last 40 years. As of today, Neptune is the farthest planet in the solar system, and it maintains a very distant relationship with the Sun. At a distance of 4.5 billion kilometers every 165 years, the planet completes its obligatory orbit around the Sun. It is obvious that the duo are not the best of friends. Despite the strained relationship between both parties, Neptune still receives energy from the Sun. However, the planet radiates twice as much energy as it receives from the Sun. This finding came as a shock to scientists as they have been unable to explain how a planet that lies over 50% farther from the Sun and receives only 40% of its amount of sunlight has sufficient internal energy to drive the fastest planetary winds in the solar system. They are further confused by the fact that Neptune is warmer than Uranus. Going by precedent, Uranus should be warmer due to its distance from the Sun. However, this is not the case, and we see evidence of this when we pay a quick visit to the upper regions of Neptune's troposphere. Here, the temperature can fall to 50.8 Kelvin. We will also see that at a depth where the atmospheric pressure is equal to one bar, the temperature is 72 Kelvin. If we decide to travel further down the deeper layers of gas, we will see that the temperature rise is steady. Scientists are yet to recover from the shock of Neptune being warmer than Uranus despite being the farthest from the Sun. As they pondered the answer to these questions, they were hit by more shocking discoveries from Triton, Neptune's moon. In the world of natural satellites, Triton stands tall above other moons. It is the largest natural satellite of Neptune and the first to be discovered by scientists. Located at a distance of approximately 4.5 billion kilometers from the Sun and a little less than 4.4 billion kilometers from our dear planet, Triton is so far away from us. This answers the question of why it is so difficult to observe Triton using telescopes from Earth. However, the 1989 Voyager 2 flyby over the Moon and the use of ground-based and space telescopes have provided us with enough data to create a picture of this intriguing Moon world. Ever since Triton was discovered on October 10, 1846, by British astronomer William Lassell, scientists can't get enough of this enigma of a Moon. Almost everything about Triton is mystical. Right from the fact that it is the only large moon in the solar system with a retrograde orbit, in layman's terms, Triton's orbit is in a direction opposite to its planet's rotation. This is so unbelievable. It is quite amusing that if Lassell hadn't used his 24-inch aperture telescope to gaze into space, it might have taken us more time to learn of the existence of this magnificent natural satellite. Likewise, we would have been limited in our understanding of the satellite and Neptune itself if not for the era of sophisticated space observation instruments. The arrival of space telescopes made it possible to capture data about the mysterious satellite. Scientists had barely recovered from the shock of this peculiar feature when their investigation revealed that Triton was the seventh largest moon in the solar system at a diameter of 2,706 kilometers. Named after the Greek sea god Triton, who is the son of Poseidon, the Greek god corresponding to the Roman Neptune, Triton is larger than the dwarf planet Pluto and Haumea. Researchers find it interesting that Triton accounts for more than 99.5% of all the mass known to orbit Neptune. 
This also includes the planet's rings and 13 other known moons. At a radius of 1,353.4 kilometers, Triton is smaller than Earth's moon. However, it beats the moon in the density department with an average density of 2.61 g/cm superscript 3, implying that Triton has more rock in its interior. While scientists were taking their time to uncover more truths about the planetary system, they were hit by the recent shocking discovery. However, unlike in previous times, this discovery has been met with sadness and fear, as it has the potential to destroy everything scientists have worked for over the years. Scientists had observed in the past that Neptune is characterized by huge storms. We are familiar with this phenomenon. What is new is the recent observation by the Hubble Space Telescope, HST. According to new research published in the planetary science journal Icarus, Hubble data suggests that these huge storms, which are often called dark spots, have disappeared. Furthermore, the data indicate that there is a high possibility that this disappearance is due to an unusual amount of ultraviolet, UV, radiation from the sun. While analyzing the Hubble Space Telescope data, scientists observed that the planet's brightness had increased in 2002 increased in 2007, increased again in 2015, and then slightly decreased again in 2020. The disappearance of Neptune's dark spots, observed through the Hubble Space Telescope, has sparked significant concern among scientists. These dark spots, akin to giant storms, were a hallmark feature of Neptune's dynamic atmosphere. Their sudden vanishing suggests a profound change in Neptune's atmospheric dynamics, potentially linked to external factors such as increased UV radiation from the sun. Neptune's atmosphere has long been a subject of fascination and mystery. Unlike Earth, where weather patterns are driven by the sun's energy and interactions with oceans and landmasses, Neptune's atmosphere operates under vastly different conditions. Its tremendous distance from the sun means that solar energy plays a minimal role in driving weather patterns. Instead, Internal heat and complex interactions within its thick atmosphere, composed mostly of hydrogen, helium, and traces of methane, dominate Neptune's meteorological phenomena. One of the most striking features of Neptune is its fast and furious winds. These winds are among the fastest recorded in the solar system, with speeds reaching up to 1,500 miles per hour, 2,400 kilometers per hour. These supersonic winds are believed to be driven by the planet's internal heat, causing turbulent and dynamic weather patterns that shape Neptune's atmosphere. Neptune's weather patterns exhibit seasonal changes, despite its distance from the sun. The planet's extreme axial tilt, almost parallel to its orbital plane, results in dramatic seasonal variations. Each season on Neptune lasts for about 40 Earth years, significantly longer than seasons on Earth. These long-duration seasons impact cloud formations and atmospheric dynamics, contributing to the planet's ever-changing appearance. The discovery of Neptune's moon Triton has provided additional insights into the planet's complex system. Triton is the largest moon of Neptune and exhibits unique characteristics that distinguish it from other moons in the solar system. One of the most remarkable features of Triton is its retrograde orbit, meaning it orbits Neptune in the opposite direction of the planet's rotation. This unusual orbit suggests that Triton may have been captured by Neptune's gravitational pull rather than forming alongside the planet. Triton's surface features include a mix of icy plains, ridges, and impact craters, indicating a dynamic geological history. The moon's icy surface reflects sunlight, giving it a strikingly bright appearance in space. Recent observations by space telescopes have revealed evidence of cryovolcanism on Triton a process where liquid water and ammonia erupt from beneath its icy crust, similar to volcanic eruptions on Earth. The presence of cryovolcanism on Triton suggests the existence of a subsurface ocean or reservoir of liquid beneath its icy shell. This subsurface ocean could potentially harbor conditions conducive to life, making Triton a target of interest for astrobiologists studying the possibility of extraterrestrial life within our solar system. Neptune's magnetosphere is another area of scientific interest. Despite its remote location, Neptune generates a magnetic field that extends far into space, influencing its surrounding environment. The planet's magnetic field is tilted relative to its rotation axis, leading to complex interactions with the solar wind, a stream of charged particles emitted by the sun. 
These interactions create auroras, glowing displays of light near Neptune's poles, similar to Earth's northern and southern lights. Studying Neptune's auroras provides valuable insights into its magnetic field dynamics and the broader relationship between planets and their parent stars. The exploration of Neptune has been primarily driven by robotic spacecraft, given its immense distance from Earth. The Voyager 2 spacecraft provided the first close-up images of Neptune during its flyby in 1989, revealing detailed views of the planet's atmosphere, rings, and moons. Subsequent observations by ground-based telescopes and space missions have continued to expand our understanding of Neptune's complex system. Future missions to Neptune and its moons are being considered to further explore its mysteries. Proposed missions include orbiters and landers equipped with advanced instruments to study Neptune's atmosphere, surface features, and magnetic field in unprecedented detail. These missions could provide answers to long-standing questions about the planet's formation, evolution, and unique characteristics. Neptune's rings are another area of ongoing research. Unlike Saturn's prominent ring system, Neptune's rings are faint and difficult to observe from Earth. They are primarily composed of dust particles and icy debris, likely originating from collisions between moons or interactions with passing asteroids. Studying Neptune's rings can offer insights into the dynamics of ring formation and evolution in the outer solar system. In conclusion, Neptune remains a captivating and enigmatic world, far removed from Earth yet holding profound secrets waiting to be discovered. From its turbulent atmosphere and fast winds to its complex moons and mysterious rings, Neptune continues to intrigue scientists and inspire exploration. Future missions and technological advancements promise to unveil more of Neptune's mysteries, shedding light on the planet's role in the broader context of planetary science and our understanding of the universe.